like Kamala's story is my story. And the reason why I say that is because how qualified she is, how prepared she is, and yet she still had to fight, yet people were still doubting her. So I feel that black women and black people resonate with that. So I feel like her story is my story. I am fighting off the angst and anxiety and really trying to be in the moment, knowing that she did everything that she could. And not only has she done everything she could, we've done everything we can. We've sent postcards, we've texted friends, we've talked to young people. So I think with the work that we've done, that is helping us to feel optimistic because we've been a part of the movement. We just, you know, are really looking forward to a free and fair election and you know, the outcomes of those have to be accepted. It's very significant to have a, a, a woman of, of black and, and, and Asian descent, a strong contender, uh, a neck and neck contender for the highest office in the land. It's always disappointment if, you know, the candidate that you uh, were rooting for doesn't win, but there is a way forward. The 50 million, 60 million people that, that, that didn't see their candidate win, so long as they're still engaged in what happens at their local level, national level, right, that's still really important.